is back into the lineup. Now the starting lineup for the Los Angeles Lakers. Number 31 is Kurt Rambis. Rambis is 6'8", second-year pro out of Santa Clara. Magic Johnson in his fourth year, 6'9", out of Michigan State. 16'9", is average, the best assist man in the league, averaging 10.5. At the center, now in his 14th year, 7-2 out of UCLA. 21.4 is average, 7.4 rebounds, 160 block shots. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The other starting guard tonight will be Norm Nixon, 6-2, a six-year pro out of the chain, averaging 15 points. Norm Nixon again joined there by Mike McGee. McGee, a second-year pro at 6-5 out of Michigan, averages four points a ballgame. Billy, ba Billy Ray Bates, signed at a 10-day contract by the Lakers, will be ready if it needed here tonight for Los Angeles. Now the starting lineup for the San Antonio Spurs. Their front line will stay intact, as will the backcourt. First man coming out will be Gene Banks. Banks 6'8", in his second year out of Duke, 14.5 average, eight rebounds a contest. Again, Gene Banks at a forward. Mike Mitchell averaging just under 20 points and seven rebounds. 6'7", in his fifth year out of Auburn, will be at the other forward. Here's the big fellow in the middle, Artis Gilmore, 7'2", in his 12th year. 18 point scoring average, 12 rebounds a game. Again, Gilmore, Mitchell, and Banks in the front line. Johnny Moore, second best in assist in the league, 12 point scoring average, 6 3 in his third year out of Texas. Is joined in the backcourt by the incomparable Iceman, George Kervin, 6 8, 11 year pro, 26.4 is his scoring average. George Kervin again at one of the guards. Stan Olbeck, the head coach of the San Antonio Spurs, assistant coach is Morris McCone. The trainer tonight, as always, is John Anderson. Again, our referees for tonight's basketball game will be Daryl Garrison along with Jordy Crawford. Garrison, the lead official, as the names on the screen were a little reversed. So just flip flop that with Daryl Garrison on the right and Joey Crawford on the left. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar will jump with Artis Gilmore. They'll be jumping at the center of the lane as we're away for just a moment as they're still trying to get some stats on that first game over with. That was one of the problems of trying to get this basketball game in as quickly as we could. Joey Crawford over now talking to Bob Howen, the chief statistician at courtside as again the stats on that first game have to be completed before they can get into the second game. That's somewhat unfortunate that was not taken care of a little quicker than that. Now they skirmish once again as Joey Crawford said let's get things underway. Well, while we have the timeout, let me point out the schedule ahead for the San Antonio Spurs. We've got Utah coming to the arena on Friday night, then up to Dallas on Saturday against the Dallas Mavericks, the ball club that defeated the Spurs by 11 here uh, just last Saturday. All right, now we're ready to go as Gilmore jumps with Jabbar. The tip is controlled by Niter, but finally comes over to Gene Banks, and the Spurs will have it to start the first quarter. Johnny Moore matched up outside on Norm Nixon, takes him to the right-hand side. Always looking inside, trying to go down to Gervin. Gervin against McGee. Baseline right, blocked away by Jabbar. There's McGee knocking it down, but it's tipped out by Banks right to Gervin. Gervin drives down the inside off to Banks, and he steps it in. Banks with a stuff off the assist by George Gervin, and San Antonio goes up by two. Well, it's going to be a madhouse in this arena for most of the night tonight. Outside is Nixon. Nixon at the top of the key, looking there for McGee. On the right side of Magic Johnson, down low to Jabbar. Tries to step inside of Artis and a whistle and a foul on A. Gilmore with his first personal foul, trying to keep Jabbar from posting up too low. And with 11.22 left to play here in the period, the foul on Artis gives the ball back to the Lakers. Back to live action as Artis works down low. He throws the little turnaround jumper in the center lane, and we're tied at two. San Antonio had led by two points. Now the Lakers with some pressure in the backcourt. Johnny Moore against Norm Nixon. Nixon did not play in the televised game I did out in Los Angeles on Sunday night against Phoenix, which time the Suns won by six. Here's Moore inside to Artis Gilmore. Back to Johnny Moore. He double pumps inside, puts it on the glass, and scores. Johnny Moore makes it a four to two game. San Antonio the lead by two. 10.51 to go here in the period. A whistle and a foul. I believe we've got an offensive foul. We do. It's called on Nixon. Nixon with an offensive foul is first to the night, and San Antonio will get the ball back again. That is a turnover on the Lakers, their first of the night. San Antonio into the full court. Johnny Moore getting a screen by Banks. Drives by Nixon to the baseline. Gets it out to Mitchell on the left side. Picked up by Rambus. Mitchell to the baseline. He'll try to put the 14 footer. It'll be no good. Rebound Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar at midcourt to Nixon. Nixon spins away from Moore. Norman into the full court. He'll stop. 20 footer on its way. In and out. No good. Ball knocked down by Rambus. Rambus goes after the bound. He holds up with a fresh 24. Gets it back to Norm Nixon. Nixon again behind a Rambus screen. Feeds it back to Kurt. At the foul line to Abdul Jabbar. His jump shot from 16. No good. 
Hums off to Magic Johnson. Johnson against Gervin through the center lane. Kicks it off on the right side to Nixon. New 24 by the Lakers again as Nixon backs back out for L.A. Nixon beyond the three-point line. Looks down inside. Goes to Abdul-Jabbar. Jabbar trying to move in. Cannot. Out to Nixon at the top of the key. His jumper from 20 will be short. Rebound comes off inside to McGee. McGee turns. Puts it up. No good. Rebound comes off to Banks. Banks out on the run for San Antonio. He feeds it back to Johnny Moore. Moore back to Banks. Inside. Layup. Good. Four points by Gene Banks. San Antonio leads by four. It's six to two. Four courting the ball. The Lakers deep right side. It's Ramos. Barely got the ball into Abdul-Jabbar. Looking for help. He's still looking, still looking. Now feeds underneath the ramage. It's stolen away by Mitchell, and Mitchell will get a foul. Mitchell going after the basketball, draws his first personal foul of the night, the second team foul on the Spurs. And with nine and a half to play in the first quarter, the ball out of bounds again to the Lakers. Spurs won the protested game, 117-114, adding a free throw by Johnny Moore on a lane violation called on the Lakers on the foul shot. So the Spurs again 50 and 29, the Lakers at 57 and 22. Right side in regulation here. It is McGee off the corner. Jump shot good. This is the final regular season game between the two clubs. Six to four, San Antonio. Johnny Moore calling the plays outside of Gervin at the high post against McGee. Down inside goes to Gilmore. Gilmore against Abdul Jabbar. The shot is up. No good. Rebound comes off to Rambus. To Nixon. Cross court to Magic Johnson. Down inside goes to McGee. His driving layup. No good. Johnson for a tip. No good. Right in front of the iron. The tip up by Johnson is good. So Magic will get his first two for the night, and we're tied at six. Second time we've had a deuce on the board. Down low Gilmore against Abdul-Jabbar. He'll step inside of him again. The shot is up and a foul will be called this time. So Jabbar will draw the first personal foul of the night on the Lakers team-wise. They had an earlier foul called on Norm Nixon on the charge and Abdul-Jabbar will go to the line. Excuse me, Artis Gilmore will go to the line as Abdul gets his first foul. Gilmore shooting to a 74% foul shooter. 8.45 to go in the first quarter. Here's the shot. It's up and good. So Artis Gilmore will get his first shot to go down at the foul line. San Antonio breaks a 6-6 tie and takes a one-point lead. Next shot by Artis is up. He got them both. So Artis Gilmore will put him in for an 8-6 Spurs lead. Up by two. We've led by four. L.A. has not led so far. Abdul-Jabbar with a little jump hook off the baseline. We're tied again this time at eight. Johnny Moore matched up on Nixon. Again, McGee, who opens against Gervin. Moore spins all the way inside, puts it up in traffic. No good. Rambus off of the ball, knocked away by Banks, picked up by Mitchell. He puts it over the top of his head and stuffs it home. All set up by Banks, who knocked it away from McGee. Down to the baseline, left side to Norm Nixon. Nixon inside to Rambus. Rambus will step inside of Mitchell. Knockdown stolen by Moore. Long down court pass will go to Banks. He'll step behind everybody and stuffs it. Gene Banks breaking out of there. Great lead pass by Moore. Puts it in for a 12-8 lead Spurs. Down low, Abdul-Jabbar against Gilmore. Tries to back him down. He'll turn for the skyhook. Illegal defense now warned on San Antonio. So a zone warning on the Spurs as apparently the Spurs try to double down on Gilmore. Or down on Jabbar, excuse me. And helping out Gilmore. Draw the zone warning. And Los Angeles will get a first 24 as they'll inbound it under eight minutes to play here in the first quarter. Spurs up by four. McGee outside of Norm Nixon. Moore went for a steal. Nixon drives all the way, puts it up on the run. No good. Gilmore knocks it down. He'll wrestle it away from Rambus and feeds it to Moore. Moore into the full court, always looking for Banks. He goes to Mitchell. Mitchell will put it up. He'll be fouled by McGee. McGee draws the foul shot. And it'll be a personal foul shot coming here to Mitchell. So McGee draws his first foul. Second team foul of the period. Whistle on Los Angeles as Mitchell went strong to the hoop. Now we shoot a pair here at the line. 77% foul shooter. Has one basket so far. It averages 19.8. Has been precariously close to 20 points all year, but other than early in the season, he has not been there yet. Shot by Mitch up and good. 13-5, San Antonio, 13-8, excuse me, up by five. Seven minutes, 41 seconds left to play. A lot of hoopla over that three-second protested game, but now it's come and gone with the Spurs winning it by three. Here's the shot by Mitchell. He'll make them both. 14-8, San Antonio leads by six, their biggest lead of the game. Again, the Lakers have not led so far. Three ties at two, six and eight. Down low, Abdul-Jabbar, double down by Moore. Jabbar turns, he'll try to drive in on Artis, throws the little sky hook on the right side, good again. Abdul-Jabbar with his sixth point of the ball game, gets the Lakers in double figures, and it's 14-10, to 10, San Antonio by four. Pat Riley along with Bill Burka off the Laker bench, while Stan Allback, Morris McCone set on their bench. 
Johnny Moore driving all the way inside, feeds it cross court to Mitchell. Jump shot off the baseline, 14, no good. Rebound comes off to Johnson. Feeds it out of there to McGee, who broke all the way down the floor and lays it in easily. McGee on the run, got the good feed that time by Magic, and puts it in as the Spurs defense didn't see him getting back. One of the things the Spurs have done well against the Lakers is, again, they lead this series now three games to one, so they've won the season series already, is to get back on defense. Here's Banks at the top of the key. Gene Banks is having a field day in the quarter as he has eight points as he busts that one for a full-point Spurs lead. Next dead ball will have a mandatory timeout to the Spurs unless the Lakers should call one. Johnson cross-court to Norm Nixon. Down inside to Abdul-Jabbar. Turns over Gilmore up underneath the Magic. His shot is up, and it is good. Magic Johnson flipping one up on Gervin to make it 14 for the Lakers. They're down by two to the Spurs, 16. 6.24 left to play. Johnny Moore spinning into the full court. The Spurs now will call the timeout. So as Johnny Moore comes into the full court, the Spurs with 6.20 left to play in the quarter will use up a timeout here with the Spurs leading by the score of 16 to 14. We'll return with our regulation game tonight between the Spurs and the Lakers in just a moment. Uh, Doug, uh, are we going to get both those countdowns in our ear or are we just going to get one? Are we going to get both those countdowns in our ear or just yours? Yeah, I got the uh, lady from L.A. The Los Angeles Lakers trailing the San Antonio Spurs by two at 16 to 14 with 6.20 left to play. In the first quarter of the ball game as Pat Riley and his group from L.A. had a scare last night down in Houston. They just barely defeated the Rockets 114 to 113 as Magic Johnson had to respond with three baskets and a key assist to Kurt Rambis to win it by one by L.A. last night. Now here they are at San Antonio as the Spurs with a two-point lead out of the ball out of bounds on the side. Now the ball club has made a substitution as of yet. George Gervin looks for the inbound. Finally comes near the top of the key. Goes to him more to Banks. Looking down inside of Mitchell. Mitchell will turn around on Rambis. Glass shot is good. Mitchell with six points. San Antonio up by four. Nixon back quickly for Los Angeles. Good transition game by this Laker ball club. Nixon driving through the center lane. His shot's no good. Gilmore with a rebound. Flips it to Gervin. Ahead to Johnny Moore. Moore into the full court. Right side to Banks. Inside to Mitchell. Mitchell missed the layup. Had the ball knocked out of his hands. It's going to belong to whom? It'll belong to L.A. Boy, a great pass by Banks, and Mitchell just didn't get the shot down. Here comes Norman Mixon back the other way. Kurt Ramos will drive all the way, dips it off to Abdul-Jabbar. Little short hook, good. San Antonio caught with their defense down there as they were more concerned over missing that shot than watching the Lakers, who broke it up and had an easy four-on-through situation. San Antonio up by two. Kurt Ramos trying to push Mitchell out of his normal spot down low. Comes to bank on the high post. Inside goes to Gilmore. He throws the left-handed hook. It's good. Gilmore over Jabbar. Makes it a 20-16 Spurs lead. 5.24 to go. First quarter tonight. Right side, Nixon. Top of the key to Rambis. Down low to Jabbar. Jabbar against Gilmore. He goes to the left baseline. Nothing there. Cross court to Norm Nixon. Into the right-hand corner to McGee. McGee trying to drive inside. Will finally put up in front of Banks. No good. Rebound to Mitchell. Mitchell out to Johnny Moore. Moore into the forecourt. Looking for Banks. Can't get it to him. Spins away from McGee. Down low it goes to Banks. Puts it up. Score. Gene Banks with 10 points in the period. 22 to 16. San Antonio's up by six. Second time tonight. Four minutes, 54 seconds to play in this first quarter. Boy, the intensity is excellent on both sides. Right side of the ball. It is Rambus. Top of the key, McGee. Swings it left to Nixon. Up underneath the Rambus. Off a double screen. He scores. Rambus got an excellent double screen opposite side. As his man that time, Mitchell didn't have a prayer. And it was 22-18, San Antonio up by four. Four and a half to go. We are now in the first quarter. Johnny Moore behind the Gilmore screen. The shot won't go. Gervin off for the rebound. Flips it up no good. He battles Jabbar for the rebound. Abdul comes away with it and gets it ahead to Nixon. Nixon on the right side. Pulls out at the top of the key. He feeds it up underneath. All alone is McGee, and McGee scores. 
Mike McGee with six points in the period, and the San Antonio six-point lead is down to two. George Gervin getting the ball in the full court. Trying to make his move on McGee. Drives all the way to the baseline. Puts a shot up. It'll be no good. A whistle and a foul on McGee. Second one called on McGee, and he'll be replaced in the lineup by Michael Cooper. So McGee, number 40, trots out. Number 21, Michael Cooper out of New Mexico. Will come into the ball game in his fifth year at six foot seven, And he will guard Gervin. San Antonio with a fresh 24. Here's Gervin across the lane. Drops it off to Johnny Moore. He drives in the center lane with a left-handed hook. No good. Rebound comes off to Magic Johnson. Loose ball foul is called. Personal foul is called on Johnny Moore as he wrestled it away from Magic Johnson after the rebound. San Antonio now with three team fouls. The Lakers with three here in the period. 22-20 San Antonio. Left side Michael Cooper. To the top of the post. It's Ramos. Mounts it left side to Norm Nixon. Nixon with Johnny Moore right with him. Gets the screen by Abdul Jabbar. Trying to give it back to him. Nixon shot blocked away by Moore. Picked up underneath by Gervin. Nixon tried to underhand scoop that ball on Moore, and he spotted it. Nice cross-court pass from Moore to Mitchell. His jump shot will be around. No good. Ball will be batted out of bounds by Jabbar. And San Antonio will have it with a fresh 24. 331 left to play. First quarter. 22-20 is the score. San Antonio up by two. Los Angeles is not led. San Antonio's biggest lead has been six. Inbound. As the ball is still out of bounds, personal foul will be called on Kurt Rambus. It is a dead ball foul, and San Antonio will be shooting two foul shots since the ball had never been inbounded. Ball standing out of bounds, and Rambus holds Gervin. And now Gervin will go to the line to shoot a couple of foul shots. Billy Ray Bates will check into the ball game for the Lakers, and he'll come in for Norm Nixon. So Bates, an excellent shooter, playing in the Continental Basketball League, coming out for a 10-day contract when Worthy went down with that broken leg on Sunday night against Phoenix at home. So he's in, and George Gervin will go to the line looking for his first points of the basketball game. The Iceman averaging 26.4, third best in the league, will get his first of the night. San Antonio leads by three at 23 to 20. Stan Albeck now correcting his defensive matches here as Johnny Moore will go against Cooper, I think. Here's Gervin's next foul shot. Good concentration, and he drills them both. 24-20, San Antonio by four. Three minutes, 27 seconds up to play. Gervin is off on Magic Johnson. Cooper is picked up by Banks. Inside along the lane, it goes to Abdul Jabbar against Gilmore. Tries to back him down inside. He turns for the sky hooks in the lane. It's no good. A whistle and a foul will be called on Artis Gilmore. Second personal foul on Gilmore. Fourth team foul called on San Antonio. Jabbar that time was looking for someone to pass to inside. There was nobody there. San Antonio tried to double down with Banks. Finally, Gilmore will bump him in midair. And he'll have two shots coming to Abdul Jabbar. First foul shots of the night by the man from UCLA. Gets his first one for a total of nine tonight. Artis has outdueled Artis just about every time, or outdueled Kareem, should I say, every time we have played. But tonight, Kareem has come out smoking as he's already got 10 points here in the first half. 24 22. Artis has a total of four. San Antonio's lead at two again. 3 10 and counting. Johnny Moore picked up by Billy Ray Bates. Right inside the lane goes to Gilmore. Turns to the inside. Puts it up high on the glass. No good. Goes back after it again. He'll go back up in traffic. Shot is up. No good. A block is called by Joe Crawford on Johnson. Rebound comes off to Magic. Magic flips it right side. Goes to Rambus. Rambus driving layup is good. And we're tied. Four ties tonight. This one coming at 24. The San Antonio Spurs bring the ball back into the forecourt. We'll have a dead ball coming up in a moment. And the timeout credited to L.A. Down low Mitchell. Mitchell inside on Rambus. Puts it up at short range. He'll score. Mitchell has eight, and the Spurs go back in the lead at 26-24. Back come the Lakers. Johnson, long-range 20-footer, no good. Mitchell out on the break. He'll feed it ahead, fed it right by Johnny Moore, right in the hands of Johnson. Magic drives back the other way. Up underneath, all alone is Rambus. Rambus has the shot blocked out of by Gilmore. Goes off the arm of Mitchell and out of bounds to Los Angeles. Timeout will be called on the dead ball, and the Lakers will be credited for it. Timeout is called with two minutes and 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. This is the regulation game. After the Spurs won the protested game by three, the Spurs lead it by the score of 26 to 24. Back in a moment. Yeah. Yep, sure did.
But San Antonio Spurs so far shooting 45.4%, while the Lakers are 47.8. Now we get the numbers. Thank you, gentlemen. 11 out of 23 by the Lakers and 10 out of 22 by San Antonio. Rebounding battle is all even at 10-10. Turnover, San Antonio has a pair. The Lakers have three turnovers so far. Stand all back, along with Morris McCone and his ball club. They've already come up with a 3-1 advantage over the Los Angeles Lakers. And this will make the third straight year that the Spurs have out the Lakers during the regular campaign. But unfortunately for the Spurs, when it all counted last year, they lost to the Lakers four games to zero in the playoffs for the Western Conference Championship. All right, it'll be the Lakers ball, the inbound with 17 on the shot clock. Magic Johnson outside, guarded by Gervin. Cooper in the left-hand corner, gets around Banks. He'll finally put it inside to Jabbar. He turns around on Gilmore, who, by the way, plays with two fouls through the center lane. Jabbar's shot no good. Gilmore off for the rebound. Comes out to Jew. Banks at midcourt. Banks will hold up, waits for Dunleavy. Dunleavy, by the way, checked in for Johnny Moore during the timeout. Down low to Gilmore. They double down. Now the center lane goes to Banks, driving layup good. Gene Banks with 12 points in the quarter. San Antonio back up by four again at 28 to 24. Minute 51 to go in the quarter. Cooper in the left-hand corner. Down inside goes to Abdul Jabbar. Jabbar across the center lane, turns back for the little jump on the right side. No good. Gervin off for the air ball on the opposite side. Mark Landsberger, number 54, is checked in, and Edgar Jones is in for the Spurs. As Gervin goes down deep, hits it out to Gilmore. Added right back to Gervin. Gervin on the baseline, try to flip it up. He cannot. It's out of the reach of Gilmore. Picked off by Banks. Bates will drive all the way on Dunleavy. Pulls up in the center lane, puts it up wildly. No good. Gilmore tips for control. Landsberger comes away with it. Dribbles out of there. Now feeds it right side to Magic Johnson. Johnson flips it cross court, goes to Billy Ray Bates, jumper from 18, in and out, no good, rebound comes off to Banks. Banks will hold it, now flips it ahead to Dunleavy. A minute eight left to play here in the first quarter. Spurs leading by four at 28-24. Dunleavy guarded by Banks as Gilmore and Jabbar push and shove for position. Got inside, goes to Gilmore, back out to Dunleavy. Three-point goal on its way, good! Dunleavy getting the feed from Gilmore, hits the three-pointer, and it's 31-24. San Antonio's lead up. Just seven points, biggest of the night. 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Johnson down to the baseline. Billy Ray Bates drives to the baseline. Shot is blocked out of there by Edgar Jones. Dunleavy tries to make a save of it, throws it behind his back, and tumbles into the stands. Great hustle by the San Antonio Spurs as Billy Pulse comes into the lineup, and Artis Gilmore goes out of there for San Antonio with 36 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. Billy Pulse again, the veteran. Down his 13th year out of St. John's at 6'11". Billy, by the way, will be making a 13th consecutive playoff appearance. He joins the likes of Bill Russell, Bob Cousy, and Hal Greer to make 13 consecutive playoff years. How about them apples, huh? Out straight away with the ball is Johnson. Backing in on Gervin. Fakes once, now turns around for the jumper. Good. Magic Johnson taking things in his own hands there. It's his sixth point of the ball game, and it's 31-26. to 26. Spurs with the lead by five. 23 seconds left to play here in the quarter. Out inside, Cooper will be called for a hole as the bounce pass went to Gervin on the baseline. With that, the Lakers go over the limit, and George Gervin will shoot foul shots for San Antonio. George Gervin, a 86% foul shooter, one of the tops of the league, number four to be exact. As his first foul shot up and good, he's got three for three at the line tonight. That's the only points he scored, though. Has not scored a field goal as they've held him pretty well in check, but Banks has really been lighting it up. He's already got a total of 12 here in the quarter. Gervin's next foul shot is also good, and it's now 33-26 San Antonio. With the lead by seven again, as bringing the ball ahead is Magic Johnson. Shot clock is off. Game clock in the first quarter is at 13. Right side, Magic Johnson picked up there by Gervin. Magic can't do much with it with eight seconds on it. Down low goes to Landsberger. Landsberger tries to get in. Good call by Daryl Garrison as Landsberger reached from behind to hook Edgar Jones. Going for the hoop. The offensive foul gives it back to the Spurs. Five seconds left to go in the quarter. 33-26, San Antonio. Dunleavy getting Gervin back. They go back to Dunes. Dunes into the full court against Bates. Gets his shot away. It's no good. Comes off to Landsberger. Tries to feed it ahead, and that's the end of the quarter. So the San Antonio Spurs try to get a quick three-pointer up by Dunleavy. He did not get it away before it was blocked from behind. And the Los Angeles Lakers come up with it, but they don't get a basket. And after one, the Spurs 33, the Lakers 26. San Antonio is led by as many as seven. Lakers have not led so far. We've been tied four times, the last time at 24. The Lakers have the ball to start the second quarter. It's Norm Nixon and Billy Ray Bates play the guard. Dwight Jones, who came over from Chicago, is in there to play the post along with Billy Pulse against four of the Spurs. 
Nixon on the right side, nine on the shot clock. Comes cross court to Cooper. Out inside goes to Landsberger against Edgar Jones. He tries to get it up, a three second violation on Landsberger. So Landsberger, frustrated inside, has not gotten a lot of play time, and it's showing right now. 33 26. They have lost Worthy and McAdoo. Their bench a little bit depleted. Out straight away with the ball, Johnny Moore to Banks at the top of the key. Banks on the left hand side, trying to get it down low to Billy Paltz. Paltz into the lane, throws the hook. It's in and out, back in. Billy Paltz with that sweeping hook knocks it in to make it 35 26. Spurs up by nine. Back quickly come the Lakers. Cooper, left baseline. Jumper's up, no good. Ball is knocked away. Down the center lane. Loose ball foul to be called. And it's going to be on Landsberger. Second foul called on Landsberger as the Spurs get the basketball back into the full court. And now Gene Banks will go out and Mitchell comes in for him. Banks with 12 points in the first half. 11 minutes, 11 seconds to go in the first half. Johnny Moore at long range, picked up by Norm Nixon. Mitchell trying to post up inside on Cooper. Paltz at the high post. Back to Moore on the right hand wing. Cross court to Dunleavy. He's open behind a Paltz screen, but Paltz will be called for an offensive foul. Paltz will draw his first personal foul. Offensive variety, setting a block outside. No team foul so far on the Spurs. One on the Lakers so far. 35-26, Spurs by nine. Norm Nixon beyond the three-point line on the right wing. Dwight Jones out straight away against Billy Paltz. Back to Norm Nixon. They feed it off on the inside. Goes to Bates. He'll be pushed from behind by Dunleavy. First foul on Dunleavy. First team foul now on the Spurs in the quarter. San Antonio here on their home floor. Now 29-10 and 10 after winning that protested game by three. 117-114 is Johnny Moore. Had another foul shot after a lane violation. Been called on the Lakers. The Lakers jump shot by Bates on the right side. No good. Edgar Jones off of the rebound. He missed two games with that bad neck. Good to see him back in there. Ten and a half left to play. Johnny Moore to Dunleavy. Right corner. Three-point goal short. Bates comes off the rebound. It's stolen away by Johnny Moore. Moore at the foul line will run out, and the Spurs will set up the offense again. Nine points, Spurs lead. Johnny Moore down inside of Mitchell. Turns around on Cooper. 16 good. Ten points by Mitchell. 37. 26, Spurs by 11. Norm Nixon brings the ball ahead. Straight away, picked up by Johnny Moore. Behind the screen by Dwight Jones. Goes all the way to the baseline. Well, Billy Paltz jumped off and did a great job to keep Nixon from going all the way inside. Out of the right end wing goes to Billy Ray Bates. Steps around the jumping Dunleavy. Shot is no good. Knocked down by Mitchell. Picked off by Paltz. He gets it out to Johnny Moore. Boy, a great court sense by Moore as there were people everywhere. He alertly dribbled the ball very carefully. Now they get it inside to Dunleavy. Hooks it back up over his head, and it's good. Dunleavy will put it in, and the San Antonio Spurs now send the Lakers to the bench for the timeout. This crowd erupts with nine minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the first half. San Antonio's lead is up by 13. Our score, the San Antonio Spurs 39, the Los Angeles Lakers 26, back in a moment. trail 39 to 26 here in the second quarter. Norm Nixon looks inside to Kurt Rambis who's back in against Mitchell. He feeds it outside to Norm Nixon. Nixon at the top of the post with 10 on the shot clock to Cooper. Back outside to Norm Nixon. He'd have to get a shot away with six on the shot clock and he does and scores. Norm Nixon with his first two for the night. That breaks the drought as the Spurs had scored six. Angeles Lakers that'll be their second team foul. 9.07 left to play here in the second quarter as the Spurs with a new 24 get the ball back again. Johnny Moore to Dunleavy at the foul line inside of Cooper. He tries to deal it off. It's knocked down, stolen by Rambis. Rambis back the other way for L.A. He drives all the way inside of Johnny Moore and put it up. Nobody picked him up. Los Angeles with a couple of an answer baskets, and it's 39-30. San Antonio can't afford to let the Lakers off the hook too many times because that'll sting you before the night is over. Dunleavy looking inside, comes to Fultz, back to Dunes. Cross court to Johnny Moore, looking inside, feeds to Paltz. Paltz off the baseline, can't get a shot away. Ten on the shot clock. Paltz looking for help. Edgar Jones at the foul line, jumpers on its way, no good. Rebound comes down, and we've got a loose ball foul to be called. It's going to be on Johnny Moore. Moore will draw his second personal foul, second team foul on the Spurs, and the Lakers get the ball back again. Turnover on San Antonio will be their third of the night. Here's a shot on the outside by Norm Nixon. He rolls the iron, and it's good. And now the Lakers have scored six unanswered points. Little pressure in the backcourt by Nixon and Cooper. Dunleavy and Moore solve that and bring it ahead with the Spurs lead down to seven. It was at 13 at one point. 
Lakers using a very good timeout. Left side of the ball, Mitchell against Rambis. Back to Moore, top of the key, Edgar Jones. Inside of Billy Paltz. He'll turn around for a seven-footer. Good. Billy Paltz in the center lane turns for the little four seven-footer. And his fourth point of the night, and it's 41-32. Baseline right, Norm Nixon. And a whistle and a foul. And I believe Johnny Moore may have picked up his third personal foul. He does. Moore reaching on Nixon gets his third. And with 7.53 left to play, George Gervin has to try to hustle back into the ballgame. He will come in, moving Dunleavy to the point guard, and Johnny Moore goes out with three fouls. He has really had himself a good first half, despite scoring only two points. All right, Dunleavy drops off on Nixon, while Cooper is matched on Gervin, who just comes off the bench. Ice has scored but four himself on the offensive end. Over the top underneath, it's Dwight Jones against Billy Paltz. He turns him back one way, throws the little jump hook, and it stops. So Dwight Jones will score his first two. San Antonio leading by seven, 41 to 34. Seven and a half to go in the first half. Outside right side of the ball, it is Dunleavy. Down low goes to Gervin. Gervin against Cooper, tries to step inside. Ball goes off of Cooper's leg. Went off of Cooper's leg, and Joey Crawford calls it out of bounds to Los Angeles. Oh, my. Nixon into the full court, pulls up over Dunleavy. 22-footer is good. Nixon really has started to find the range now. I can't believe that call by Crawford. Gervin put the ball down, and it went off of Cooper's leg right out of bounds. And they gave it to the Lakers right in front of him. Dunleavy into the full court. Down low goes to Gervin. Gervin against Cooper. Steps him off on the inside. Hook shot no good. Rebound inside to White Jones. The Lakers now making a heck of a comeback as Nixon into the full court. At the top of the key with 6.56 to play. Norm Nixon will try another 22-footer. This one will not go. Rambus chases it down in the corner. They'll set up a new 24. 41-36. San Antonio's lead at 13 is down to 5. With Norm Nixon doing most of the damage with three back-to-back -back baskets here. Inside to Cooper. Off the baseline. They've switched off. Cooper jumper 18. No good. Mitchell off for the bound. He starts the break ahead. Mitchell at midcourt. Spins away from Cooper. Bounces it to Paltz. Paltz off the baseline. Dumps it off inside to Mitchell. Little turnaround 12-footer. No good. Rebound. Comes off to Jones. Goes off his head and out of bounds. And the Lakers will get the ball back again. Six minutes and 24 seconds left to play. First half of the game. Spurs cruising, but now they're sputtering. Inside. Cooper driving layup. Good. San Antonio will probably use a timeout here with 6.15 left to play. And a driving layup on the other end. Billy Paltz will put it up and in. Long down court pass. Got Paltz behind the defense. San Antonio's lead at 43-38. Left side of the ball. It is Dwight Jones. Jumper from 12. The rainbow stays. Dwight Jones throwing up a prayer. And that one went in. 43-40. San Antonio's lead is at three. Outside with the basketball. Dunleavy will cross the timeline. And indeed will call the timeout. So the San Antonio Spurs, again, leading by as many as 13. Now I've seen the Los Angeles Lakers behind the shooting of Norm Nixon and Dwight Jones come back within three at 43-40. to 40. We'll return with more in just a moment. The San Antonio Spurs have a total of six turnovers in this ball game, while the Los Angeles Lakers have been whistled for five turnovers so far. And as we have run up and down the floor for a 43-40 San Antonio lead, that is not an abnormally high number. The Spurs are out rebounded the Lakers 18 to 14. Outshot the Lakers 52% to 46. And again, have led by as many as 13 points, but the Lakers have made a good comeback back. Some of the other scores, let me pass some of the others on to you. New Jersey leads New York, big ball game for New York. 28-24, that's at New York tonight after one. Washington leads Philadelphia at Philly, 66-56 at the half. Cleveland trails Chicago at Cleveland, 54-47. And Detroit leads Boston at Detroit, 61-51. And Milwaukee trails Indiana at Indiana, 56-47. Back to play here, the San Antonio Spurs 
working with a three-point lead, Gervin and Dunleavy at the guards. Ball is knocked away, picked up by Banks, right back to Gervin. Gervin on the inside as the ball knocked out of his hands, goes out of bounds to San Antonio. Spurs will have only eight on the shot clock. Artis Kilmore back into the ball game for San Antonio. He'll be followed by Abdul Jabbar, who comes in for the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, a replay of that one on the Sports Channel. Gervin took all kinds of contact down the center of the lane, but no call. Here's Dunleavy looking for the inbound. Comes into Gilmore, hands it right back to Dunleavy. Dunleavy is knocked out. A charge is going to be called on Dunleavy as he drives into Cooper. Dunleavy picks up a personal foul. It'll be his second of the night, and the ball goes back to the Lakers. Five minutes and 34 seconds to play in the first half. A three-point lead by San Antonio. Right side of the ball, it is Norm Nixon. Nixon beyond the three-point line. Guarded there by Dunleavy. Inside, they get it to Abdul-Jabbar. Again, Gilmore's playing with a couple of fouls. Nixon at the high post. Jumper's good again. Norm Nixon with eight points in the period, and the Spurs' lead of 13 is down to one. Dunleavy against Nixon on the right-hand side. Dunleavy trying to get it into Gilmore. They do against Abdul-Jabbar. He turns across the center lane, throws the hook. It's good. Gilmore with his sixth point of the ballgame, and it's 45-42. San Antonio by three again. Norm Nixon outside on Dunleavy. Texas to the baseline. Gets the screen. Feeds it right back to Jabari. Runs in for the slam dunk. Nice give and go. One point lead by the Spurs. 45-44. Under five minutes to play. 4.52 to be exact. Magic Johnson will check in in just a moment for Los Angeles. Dunleavy into the full court. Playing in place of Johnny Moore. Has three fouls. Gilmore off the post. Gets a double team. Back out to Dunleavy. Three-point goal on its way. This time it'll hop away. No good. Ball knocked down by Gilmore. Picked up by Banks. This shot is going to be up. Bounces around and goes in. Gene Banks got the fifth bounce to go home. And it's 47 to 44. Could this be an old one? 4.29 to play in the second quarter. Well, we're a long way from home, though, aren't we? 47-44. Spurs by three as the Lakers have the ball back. And outside with the ball, it is Cooper. Tipped out of there by Gilmore as he chases down in the corner. Feeds ahead to Banks. Banks into the center lane. He'll deal it off to Dunleavy. Top of the key. Jumper 20. Good. Dunleavy. Seven points in the line, and it's 49-44. And now a timeout is going to be taken by Los Angeles. So the Lakers quickly call a timeout. This will be their second of the quarter. As both ball clubs used a timeout in that first quarter of the ball game. both ball clubs have been whistled for a timeout already here in this period. And now the Lakers have used up another one as well. For the San Antonio Spurs, don't forget that Friday night, They'll be right back here at the arena against the Utah Jazz. That'll be the final home game of the regular campaign for San Antonio. That'll be Fiesta Fun Button Night, and anyone wearing the fun button coming to any of the uh, San Antonio Spurs box office entrances will get $2 off of any seat that's available in the house. That's Fiesta Week starting at San Antonio. You can join into the fun right here at a Spurs game Friday night against Utah for $2 off of any seat that's available with that Fiesta Fun Button that you'll wear. That's the final home game. We'll close out the season up in Dallas. You'll hear it on WOAI and see it on UA Columbia Channel 7. By the way, as always, our home games on Friday night will be telecast on the Sports Channel, Channel 37. The San Antonio Spurs against the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers, a ball club that right now won their Pacific Division, has a record of 57 and 22, as you see the diagramming of Pat Riley as he tries to get some offense going here in the final 4.06 left to play. The Lakers, by the way, after beating Houston by a point last night, will head back home a big ball game on Friday. Not necessarily as far as the standings are concerned, but a big one for Seattle because Seattle would like to try to get something going because if they indeed still finish fourth with a home court advantage, Seattle and Los Angeles could meet up in the semifinals for the Western Conference, and then they close out on Sunday night at uh, the Forum in Los Angeles against Portland, a ball game to be seen on ESPN, and yours truly, Sam Smith along with Irv Brown will be televising that one for you on your local cable systems. 49-44, the San Antonio Spurs up by five. The Los Angeles Lakers had cut it to one on a couple of occasions, the last time at 45-44. San Antonio with a couple of unanswered baskets. The Lakers using up their third timeout of the ball game. Now they'll have it in the backcourt as Cooper comes in. Magic Johnson is checked in to play outside against George Gervin. Magic on the right side. They have Dwight Jones back in there as well. Up underneath, they go to Abdul-Jabbar with a whistle, and let's see. It'll be an offensive foul to be called inside. It is. So the personal foul called down low. Norm Nixon will set a pick and gets his second foul of the night. The Lakers now pick up their second team foul. 
Outside with the ball, it is Dunleavy. Down inside along the post goes to Mitchell. Falls over to White Jones. The jumper's good again. Oh, my, does Mitchell do that well? Ball away over Jones. Makes it 51-44. Spurs up by seven. Bounce pass. Left baseline to Magic Johnson. High post to Cooper. Cooper looking inside. Nothing there. Back out to Norm Nixon. On the right side to White Jones. Down inside to Abdul-Jabbar. He's against Gilmore. Turns him into the inside. Throws a little short left-handed hook, and it's good. Gilmore had to back off with those two fouls. Makes it 51-46. San Antonio's lead at five. 3-18 to play. First half. Dunleavy trying to get the ball into Mitchell. He does against Jones. He backs in. And a personal foul will be called into White Jones, who had been hammering him all the way. And a personal foul is called after the bounce pass had finally got into it. Dunleavy bouncing it inside. Mitchell retreating. Jones picked up the foul, and now Banks will look for an inbound. Comes to Gilmore. He'll hand it off to Dunleavy. Fresh 24 for the Spurs as Dunleavy gets a screen by Gilmore. Left side to Banks. Banks against Magic. Back out to Dunleavy. Three-point goal on its way. It'll be short. Rebound down the center lane. Comes off to the White Jones for L.A. Out to Magic Johnson. Johnson filtering through the crowd. Throws it right by McGee and out of bounds. The Lakers turn the basketball over. That's a total of seven turnovers now by the Lakers. San Antonio has a total of six. A five-point Spurs lead. Under three minutes to play in the half. On the right side with the basketball. It is Dunleavy. Gervin trying to post up inside on McGee. Alley who pass over the top to Gervin out of a double team. To Dunleavy. Left hand side goes to Banks. Open for a 14 footer. Good. Gene Banks with 16 points in the game. Good ball movement by the Spurs. Gets him a seven point lead. Norm Nixon back the other way. A reach in foul will be called on Dunleavy before he gets there. And now two of the point guards for San Antonio, Moore and Dunleavy, both had three personal fouls each. Boy, it's great to see Paul Griffin out of the hospital and here at the game tonight. He and his lovely wife, Kim, watching from one of the vestige points across the way. Paul, of course, in the wheelchair after the knee surgery. Los Angeles ball down low. Abdul-Jabbar against Gilmore. Turns him to the center lane. He'll throw the sky hook. It's up from 12. Bounces and stays. Abdul-Jabbar, 16 points on the night. 53-48, San Antonio. Has the lead by five as Robert Smith will be forced into action here. The outstanding most valuable player in the Continental Basketball Association will get a try against... One of the nation's best, the Lakers. Dunleavy down inside of Gilmore. He turns him off on the inside, powers up, locked away by Abdul-Jabbar, comes off to Mitchell. Mitchell skirmishes the forward on the baseline. He tries to go up inside, and Abdul-Jabbar will foul him from behind. Great play by Mitchell. Jabbar had made a block on Gilmore. Mitchell got the ball as he turned inside. He had to fight two of the Lakers to get to the hole. When he finally got down to the baseline, Abdul-Jabbar was there. Mitchell just powered up to the hole. And Jabbar went after the block and got him on the arm. Jabbar gets his second. Mitchell goes to the line to shoot a foul shot. And again, Robert Smith, number nine, will check into the lineup. And Dunleavy goes out with three fouls. A minute 55 left to play in the first half. Spurs by five, 53-48. Mitchell with a total of 12 points in the night. We'll get that one to stay. And he thought he had missed it. He walked off the lane. But it stays in there. And now Mitchell. Good night tonight. As 13, looks for number 14. As San Antonio builds their lead towards that 13 mark again. They're a long way from that at the moment at 54-48, but that has been the longest of the night. Mitchell's next foul shot hops away. Rebound to Gervin. He turns for a little short up. No good. Rebound comes off to the White Jones. Jones out at midcourt to Nixon. Cross court to Magic Johnson. He drives it away. Gets it off into Jabbar. They'll put it up. They'll wave off the foul as a personal foul is going to be called Robert Smith. Smith will draw the foul, which will put Jabbar at the foul line but it did save an easy basket and a possible three-pointer. Jabbar with 16 points on the night. Good feed off by Magic Johnson. Well, let me tell you, Jabbar also, if the foul had not been called very early, took about four, they were little bitty steps, but they were steps underneath, as he never really had control of the basketball before putting it up. Jabbar with 17 points as the foul shot goes in. Gives Los Angeles 49. The Spurs are up by five. A minute 45 left to play here in the first half. Brand Blindberry, who covers the Houston Rockets, will be our halftime guest. He saw the last time they had a doubleheader between Philadelphia and New Jersey in a protested game. Second foul shot makes it a 54-50 ball game as Jabbar gets the basket. Robert Smith on the outside, trying to get help to Banks at the top of the key. Drives by Jones, drives for the hoop, no good. A whistle and a personal foul. Personal foul will be called on McGee. That'll be his third, and Banks will shoot foul shots for San Antonio. Stan Olbeck, along with his very able assistant, Morris McCone, who does most of the scouting. Of course, Stan will scout quite a bit as well. 
On the sideline, the trainer, John Anderson. Morris, along with John, keeping all kinds of charts that the Spurs will use before the ball game is all over to find out what uh, plays are going well, what are not. Banks, let me tell you, has got some affection for that rim because it has just kind of sucked a couple of balls in there that have been definite outs. And now one just fell back through. Here's another foul shot. No doubt on that one as it rattles home a little bit, but it's in. 18 points by Gene Banks in the half. And it's 56-50. Spurs by six. A minute 27 left to play. First half. Down low. Abdul Jabbar on Gilmore. Sky hook from 14. No good. Banks has the rebound and McGee's over his back for his fourth foul. And Banks will shoot foul shots again. Well, that was one of those situations just reaching for the basketball. Mid, uh, McGee thought he had a shot at it, but he did not. He goes right over the back and number 4-0 for the Lakers. Has four personal fouls. Clay Johnson will be forced into action here for the Lakers. Johnson out of Missouri. Played in the Continental Basketball League before signing last year with the Lakers before the playoffs started. And he'll be replacing McGee, who takes a seat. Gene Banks already with a total of 18 in the game tonight. They get 19 as this one's up and in. Boy, this is almost a career for Banks already. It will probably be a career for a half. If he can get this one to go down, he'd already have, of course, the 20 points for the ball game. It's on its way, and he'll get it. So 20 points by Gene Banks as he's at four for four at the foul line the last two trips. And it's 58-50, San Antonio by eight. Right side Cooper to Magic Johnson, picked up by Gervin. Down low to Abdul-Jabbar against Gilmore. He backs him into the center lane. Banks came down for a double down. They get it back out to Cooper. Jumper will bounce around. No good. Gilmore knocks the ball down. Comes away to Gervin. Gervin, the long down court pass goes to Banks. Banks with the layup. He's fouled by Cooper. Cooper will get the personal foul, but it prevented Banks from getting the basket. Banks tried to get it up just as quickly as he could, but he didn't get it up quite quick enough as Cooper reached in and got the foul. Gervin with an excellent pass long down court. Banks again tried to get that ball up as fast as he could and just kind of overshot the hoop, and now he has two foul shots coming. Shot by Gino, and it's way and good. Coming back into the ballgame for the Los Angeles Lakers again it will be Billy Ray Bates, number 35, and Cooper will go out of there. Gene Banks is high for the entire year and for his career is 32. He has another foul shot coming here with 21 points. Make it 22. So Banks almost single-handedly has put us up by 10. As a matter of fact, he's hit the last six foul shots. Now the Los Angeles Lakers will take a 20-second timeout. As they will use up their 20 of the half, San Antonio comes to the sideline with 52 seconds left to play. As they huddle, the Lakers and to the Spurs. You know, we've just come and gone over quite a historic moment on April the 11th back in 1967. Philadelphia beat Boston 140 to 116 in the Eastern Finals, thus hauling the longest reign of an NBA champion as the Celtics had won eight consecutive years. The Celtics also in the month of April, obviously the playoffs being in the month of April, back in 1957 had started it all with their first NBA title. In the seventh game of the championship, they beat St. Louis 125-123 in four overtimes. Tom Heinsohn, a former coach of the Celtics, led the way with 37, and my favorite ball player of all time, Bob Pettit, had 32 for the Hawks. All right, we're back to play here as the Los Angeles Lakers trail the Spurs by 10. Billy Ray Bates on the right baseline, drives all the way. Gilmore knocks it out on the corner. It's picked up by Jones. Jones out to Magic Johnson. Johnson down the center lane will throw up a hook. It's no good. A whistle and a reach-in foul will be called on George Gervin. Gervin will draw the personal foul. It'll be his first of the night. And going to the line will be Magic Johnson to the line to shoot. Mitchell and Banks both conferred with each other because after Gilmore had got the block, Banks and Mitchell were both the closest to it. And neither could beat Jones to the ball because the other thought the other was going after. Did that make any sense? I don't think so. Well, I'll try it next time. Foul shot by Johnson's good. What did he say? 60-51 score. San Antonio up by nine. Make it eight as Johnson's next foul shot is good. 40 seconds left to play. First half of the game. Mitchell over to Robert Smith. Smith will bring it ahead on Clay Johnson. Robert again, the MVP of the Continental Basketball League while playing for George Carl out at Montana. Gets it down low to Mitchell. Mitchell on to White Jones. No good. Rebound comes off to Jabbar. Ahead to Clay Johnson. Loses the ball. Picked up by Magic Johnson. He drives all the way. Puts it up and in. That kind of momentum the Lakers need and the San Antonio Spurs don't. It's 60-54. San Antonio, again with the lead by six. 
Gilmore trying to get the ball to Robert Smith to set up the offense. Eight seconds left. Gilmore on the outside will get away from a double team. Off to Robert Smith. Smith will lose the ball out of bounds, and with three seconds, the Lakers will get it. The Lakers just played some great shutout defense that time. Never let the Spurs get in their offense. Here's Clay Johnson. Comes into Magic. Magic in the backcourt. Let's fly with a long one-hander. It hits off the top of the backboard, and that's the end of the first set. Well, it's a dandy. San Antonio Spurs 60. The Los Angeles Lakers 54. The Spurs have out the Lakers so far through the first set. Well, we've got a great second half still ahead of us. Hope you'll stick around on our simulcast. Again, the Spurs up by six. We'll be back right after this. Those of you that have not ordered your playoff tickets yet, the general public sale for playoff tickets will go on sale on April the 18th at the Spurs box office, and you'll be able to buy two games only. All right, this is third quarter action. Abdul-Jabbar underneath goes to Kurt Rambis. Rambis will get the basket, and Mitchell will pick up a very, very foolish foul as Rambis had already gone to the hoop and put it up and in for his eighth point of the game, and Mitchell gets his second foul. Rambis will try to complete a three-point play. Again, Mitchell was already beaten by Rambis. There wasn't a big choice of him getting the ball up and a block out of that, and he picks up the foul, and that's his second of the night. San Antonio comes back out with their starters of Moore and Gervin at the guards. Mitchell, Banks, and Gilmore up front. Rambis, along with Johnson and Abdul-Jabbar on the front line. Rambis, by the way, makes the foul shot. Ball in the backcourt, Norm Nixon, and again, Mike McGee. McGee guards Gervin while Nixon picks up Moore. San Antonio's lead is at three. They've led by as many as 13. On the right side, personal foul will be called inside, and it's going to go on McGee, and that'll be his fifth. So McGee will pick up his fifth personal foul. It'll be the first of the quarter called on Los Angeles. Cooper will be coming in very shortly, or they may just let McGee hang out there and see what he can do with those five fouls. Out at the top of the key, Johnny Moore with a jumper. Good. J.R. with his fourth point of the ball game, 62-57, Spurs by five. This is the third quarter of tonight's regulation game now. On the right side of the ball, it is McGee. Top of the key, Nixon swings it left side to Johnson. Down low, Abdul-Jabbar against Gilmore with two fouls. Nice spin move by Abdul, and he gets his 20th point of the game. Three points, Spurs lead, 62-59. A minute gone in the third. Right side, Johnny Moore. Outside that three-point line, down inside of Gervin. Back to Moore, back to Gervin. Gervin to the baseline, and a whistle and a foul on McGee. And that's it. Well, McGee's gone. They didn't get him out in time. And now Clay Johnson will come into him as McGee goes out of there. Six points tonight and fouls out with 11-0-1 left to go in the third. So he got two quick ones trying to stop Gervin. Spurs get the inbound. Underneath it goes from Gervin. Knocked away by Clay Johnson. Picked up by Magic Johnson. Magic comes into the full court. Still drives all the way. Drives right into Johnny Moore. Moore will get a block, and that's his fourth foul. Johnny Moore gets his fourth personal foul of the ball game, and the San Antonio Spurs will have the ball out of bounds on the side. Looking at the replay, Johnny Moore was not set. He did indeed lean towards the center of the hoop. Magic came right at him, and Moore just kind of leaned that way. Checking in quickly, Mike Dunleavy going out. Johnny Moore with four fouls. Down low, Abdul-Jabbar against Gilmore. Feeds it off underneath the basket. Shot is going to be up. It'll be no good. Rambis tried to tip. Mitchell goes up for the rebound. He's in trouble in the backcourt. Now finally gets it away to Dunleavy. Ahead of George Gervin. Gervin back off to Dunes. Dunes into the full court for San Antonio. Spurs still lead by three with ten and a half left to play here in the third. Dunleavy picked up by Norm Nixon. Illegal defense warning now on Los Angeles. Called by Daryl Gerritsen. So both ball clubs now have a warning. And the next infraction will be a technical foul on either team. There were 10 technicals called at Atlanta in that Philadelphia game last night. My, my. Top of the key with the ball, Dunleavy. Earl Strom, uh, along with Mike Mathis with the reps. Here's Gilmore rolling inside the inside of the lane. Throws up a six foot. Up and it's good. Gilmore ran down the center of the lane, and I use that term quite literally. Ran down the left side of the lane for a 64-59 Spurs five-point lead. 20-second timeout will be taken by the Lakers as Magic Johnson comes limping to the sideline and holds his left wrist, and Jack Curran, the trainer for the Lakers, quickly comes out and talks to him here as the Lakers use up their 20 here early in the third quarter. Boy, the Lakers have just been beset by injuries. Of course, Mitch Kupchak never even got off to a start this year. Bob McAdoo has had a foot operated on, and now Worthy's out with a broken leg, and Magic Johnson may be out of the ballgame here for the moment as he comes to the sideline. Here's the hook shot coming up by Artis Gilmore. Magic Johnson off on the inside. And I'm not really sure after looking at the replay, for those of you on the radio, we really didn't get to see that much. It appeared maybe he got his finger tangled in somebody's shirt. 
as he was inside, both pushing and jockeying for position. And he just wrenched with pain and then called the 20-second timeout. All right, the Lakers on the ball, but the Spurs are up by five. Left side, it is Cooper who checked in during the timeout. To Abdul Jabbar, ball knocked away. Abdul reaches down for the rebound. Backs in on Gilmore, throws the sky hook. It's up and good. 22 points by Abdul Jabbar. I think he came in here with a personal vendetta against Gilmore, who has outdueled him for the most part all year long. He's come in with 22 points, but the Spurs still lead by three. 64 61, top of the key banks on the right side of Dunleavy, down inside of Gilmore. Gilmore looking for help, feeds it inside the lane, goes to Banks, turnaround jumper 14 no. Gilmore off of the rebound. He'll go back for a follow up, no good. Gilmore gets another try and will stuff it home. Gilmore in double figures with 10. 66 61. Spurs by five. Outside of the ball, Norm Nixon. Right side to Cooper. Cooper down the baseline on Gervin. He'll stop, jump, 20 footer on its way. Good. Michael Cooper left wide open by George Gervin. And Kansas for a 66 63 score. Cooper knocking the ball out of bounds on a down court pass from Dunleavy to Banks. It'll belong to the Spurs on the side with 9 08 to play. Third. Shot clock at 21. Banks shovels it into Mitchell. Right back to Banks. Gives it off to Dunleavy. Dunleavy playing in place of Moore who has four fouls now. Dunleavy looking inside to Mitchell. Instead goes to Gervin at the top of the key. Back out to Dunleavy. Down low to Mitchell. Ball knocked into his hands by Rambus. Picked up by Cooper. Cooper back the other way to Norm Nixon. Nixon in the center lane. Drops it off inside. Mitchell hustling back to knock the ball down for a steal. Into the forecourt. Comes to Dunleavy. Dunleavy across the timeline. Up underneath all alone is Banks. Stuffs it home. Great pass by Dunleavy. Banks was left wide open. 68-63. Well, the Lakers have gotten a couple of those cheapies on us. And now Banks throws one right back in their face. A five-point lead by San Antonio. Norm Nixon with the ball. On the right side with it, it is Clay Johnson to Cooper. Cooper at the high post. Drops it down inside to Rambus. Rambus throwing over Mitchell. No good. Gervin across the lane for the rebound. Ahead it comes to Moore. Moore with the basketball. Now hands it off to Mitchell. Mitchell back off to Dunleavy. Down to the baseline to Mitchell. Shoots over Rambus. His shot will be no good. Rebound off to the side of Cooper. Out to Nixon. Nixon into the full court for Los Angeles. The Spurs lead at 5. 8.07 to play in the third. Cross court to Cooper. Cooper looking inside. Clay Johnson. Vacates. Abdul Jabbar steps inside of Gilmore. Gets a double team. Cooper left hand side to Nixon. Jumper 18. Good. Norm Nixon in double figures with 10. Good ball movement that time by the Lakers. Got an open 15 footer by Nixon and he canned it. 7.49 left to play here in the third quarter. 68 to 65. The San Antonio Spurs again. Have the lead up by three. Outside Dunleavy. Down inside goes to Gilmore. Gets out of a double team on Jabbar. Little jump hook. Good. Gilmore puts it in. He has a total of 12. 70 to 65. Lakers back in a hurry. Norm Nixon to Rambus. Rambus straight away. Picked up by Mitchell. Hands it back to Nixon. Nixon beyond the three-point line. Down inside to Abdul Jabbar. He turns to the inside. Goes back the other way. Little jump hook. No good. Rebound comes off to Banks. Banks comes out on the run for San Antonio. At midcourt. Picked up by... Johnson, cross court to Dunleavy. Over the top underneath to Gilmore. Gilmore has it swiped clean by Norm Nixon. Nixon to the backcourt. Comes back the other way for Los Angeles. He drives to the center lane. Puts it up on the run and good. Norm Nixon driving the length of the floor to put it up and in. 70 to 67. San Antonio up by three. 6.55 left to play here in the third. Dead ball will have a timeout called in a moment. Down low with the ball. It is Gilmore. Out to Gervin. Gervin backing on the inside on Cooper. Ball stripped clean by Norm Nixon. Out it comes to Clay Johnson, and Gervin will be called for a dive-in foul. His second foul of the basketball game, and it'll go once again to the George Gervin, who gets his second, and the timeout is called. So with 6.45 left to play here in the third, the San Antonio Spurs, who had enjoyed a comfortable lead, now fight for their lives, 70-67. to 67, The Spurs by three back in just a moment. Have to read it. All right. Next. Okay. That's a new number, huh? That's a new number. All right. What? Yeah, I got it.
Well, one of the biggest times of the year coming up on our sports channel, Channel 37. It's the second season featuring the Spurs home playoff basketball games. The Houston Astros baseball, Texas Ranger baseball. How about those Rangers? And San Antonio Dodger baseball. In addition to that, you'll see championship boxing, the WBA lightweight, WBA junior lightweight, and the WBA junior middleweight title fights right here on the Sports Channel. If you're not a subscriber, call 222-0500. That's the number to call to subscribe and get excited at home with the all-new Sports Channel. Los Angeles with the basketball. They're down by three, 70 to 67. Magic is back in there, shaking that left wrist as he and Norm Nixon play the guards. Magic tries to go right to work on George Gervin. Under six and a half left to play now in the third. Rambis at the high post to Norm Nixon. Nixon back to Rambis, all alone up on an eight. Fakes once, shot is blocked away, but a personal foul will be called. And a personal foul will be called on Artis Gilmore. Gilmore will get a personal foul after Rambis had broke loose underneath. Gilmore going up. Gilmore going after the basketball, and Rambis will go to the line and shoot a pair. That is three personal fouls on Gilmore, and the foul difficulty for the Spurs starting to become somewhat paramount now. Four fouls on Moore, three on Dunleavy, now three on Gilmore. As Rambis puts a shot up, it'll be no good. Rambis with nine points in the ball game. Spurs still up by three. 70 to 67 in the third quarter. Again, the Spurs won the protested game by three. 117 to 114, so they've already reached the 50 victory mark this year. Next shot by Rambis is up and good for the Lakers. And it's a two-point game at 70 to 68. Dunleavy replaces Moore a few moments ago. Works on Nixon. High post to Banks. Cross court right side of Gervin. Back to Banks. On the left side of Dunleavy. Looking inside of Mitchell. Mitchell inside of Rambis. Cross court to Banks. Banks drives all the way. Stuffs at home. Right over Jabbar. 26 points by Gene Banks. Boys, he pumped up tonight. 72-68 the score. The San Antonio Spurs. Leading the Los Angeles Lakers by the four points with six minutes to go. Left side, Norm Nixon to the foul line. Inside of Dunleavy, throws it high over the outstretched hands of Jabbar and scores. Norm Nixon lighting it up for a total of 14. 72-70. San Antonio by two. Dunleavy picked up by Nixon beyond the three-point line. Looks for help to Banks. Banks at the high post, guarded by Cooper. Back to Dunleavy, inside to Mitchell. Mitchell turns over Rambis. His jumper won't stay this time. Off comes to Gilmore. Loose ball foul will be called. It's going to go on Abdul-Jabbar, and that'll be his third. So Gilmore and Jabbar battle for position inside as the ball came off after a missed shot by Mitchell. And as it came down, Jabbar holding on Gilmore as he hooked him with his elbow, and the personal foul is called. Back to live action on the high post. Gilmore for a 14-footer. No good. Rebound Rambis. The Laker lead is at only two. Nixon could cut into it. Over the top, alley-oop, Abdul-Jabbar, and they have tied it. Abdul-Jabbar getting a beautiful feed that time by Norm Nixon. We're tied for the fifth time tonight. This one coming at 72 apiece. 5-10 left to play in the third. Gilmore back outside of Dunleavy. Three-point goal, and it's way got another one. Dunleavy with his second three-point goal of the night. The Spurs up by three. Right in corner to Cooper. Trying to drive inside, cannot. Back out to Magic Johnson. Johnson on the baseline, guarded by Gervin. Inside of Abdul-Jabbar. He powers around Gilmore. There'll be a block called on Ab on Gilmore, and that'll be his fourth foul. They knew exactly where they wanted to take the ball, and that was in to challenge Gilmore. Stan Holbeck had left him in there. Gilmore that time could not stop him on the baseline and picks up his fourth personal foul. Coming in will be Billy Paltz. Paltz plays Jabbar very well. He puts that big old body on him and pushes and shoves with Jabbar, and Jabbar knows it. And Abdul-Jabbar now at the line will shoot his fifth and sixth foul shots of the line. He's perfect four for four tonight. They get five for five as he puts in his seventh point of this period. And his 25th point of the ballgame. Next shot by Jabbar. At the line is high in the air and good again. So he's six for six at the line. San Antonio by a point. Johnny Moore back into the ballgame as Dunleavy goes out. Moore playing with four fouls is picked up by Norm Nixon. At the high post, it's Gervin. Left-hand side to Banks. Banks against Cooper. Stops. 18-footer. No good. Abdul-Jabbar down with a rebound. Out to Nixon. Nixon cross-court. Goes to Magic. Magic picked up by Gervin. Deep right-hand corner to Cooper. Up underneath the Rambus. Rambus against Mitchell. Got him airborne, and there will be a three-second violation call on Rambus. Rambus in the lane for the turnover. For the Lakers, they have turned it over now nine times. Here's Gervin back the other way against Magic. 
Gets it back outside to Moore. Top of the key to Billy Paltz. Down to the baseline. Gets it to Banks. Banks on Cooper. Trying to back him inside. He'll put it up. There'll be a whistle and a charge called on Banks. So the San Antonio Spurs with that offensive foul will get another turnover. That's number 13 on them tonight compared to nine on the Lakers. Lakers shooting a little better now at 50%. The Spurs shooting 53, however. Spurs up by a point, but the Lakers threatening to take their first lead of the ball game if they could get a hoop here. Outside Cooper swings it on the left side. Abdul Jabbar inside on Billy Fultz. He'll turn inside, gets out of a double team to Cooper. Right side to Norm Nixon. Nixon through the center lane. Jump shot will be up high in the air. No good. Rebound comes off to Mitchell. Mitchell on the run ahead to Johnny Moore. Moore, four courts for San Antonio. 349 to play to Gervin. Right side, 18. No. Rebound comes out to Magic Johnson. It's two on two. Los Angeles is Johnson against Gervin. To Cooper down the lane. Puts it up and in. And Los Angeles has their first lead of the ball game. As Cooper scores to make it 76-75. Coming with 335 to go in the third. Moore according to the ball. Johnny Moore. Down low to Mitchell. He steps around Rambis. Rambis will reach and foul. Rambis gets his second personal foul of the ball game. And the ball will be coming out of bounds to the Spurs on the side on the 14th foul of the period. Whistle on L.A. Ransberger will come back in to join Johnson, Magic Johnson, and Abdul Jabbar on the front line while Nixon and Cooper stay at the guards. Right side it is Gervin. Gervin on the high post against Abdul Jabbar. Goes to Johnny Moore on the left side. His 19th footer is good. J.R. gets his sixth point of the ball game and the Spurs lead now. 77 76 309 to play in the third outside magic johnson directing traffic trying to get landsberger across the lane now outside with the ball it's magic johnson trying to clear the floor with 10 on the shot clock in the left hand corner norm nixon can't get it to him to landsberger back to magic johnson back to landsberger landsberger will lose it off his leg and out of bounds and magic is human magic threw a perfect pass to landsberger went right off his leg and out of bounds and the San Antonio Spurs will get the ball back as L.A. will be the mandatory timeout. This coming with 2.51 left to play here in the third quarter. Our score, the San Antonio Spurs 77, the Lakers 76. Yes. Okay. Well, the scoring so far from the guard core, the Los Angeles Lakers have 20 from their guards, while the San Antonio Spurs have 20 from theirs, as George Gervin, of course, has accounted for only four points in the ballgame tonight. Coming from the guard core, he has not scored a field goal in his four for four at the foul line. By the way, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to a former member of our San Antonio Spurs staff, Jim Johnson. Jimbo is celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to you. And also, congratulations to the winner of the AMC Jeep at the arena tonight, Thomas C. Lott of 11630 Raindrop in San Antonio. Thomas Lott, the Jeep, the Jeep winner here tonight. On the right side, George Gervin working it down inside. Can't get the shot off. Gets it off to Fultz. Back to Gervin. Turn around 18. Good. Gervin with his first field goal to the ball game, and San Antonio goes up by three. Ice's first foul field goal comes with two minutes and 32 seconds to go here in the third quarter. My, my. And the Spurs still lead out at the top of the key. Nixon. Nixon guarded by Johnny Moore, trying to get a screen from Landsberger. Does get it. Goes all the way to the baseline right side. Back to Landsberger. He'll lose the ball. Banks will knock it out of bounds as he goes up over the top of the Spurs bench. Right up over one of his Spur teammates. And it's out of bounds. And with 10 seconds on the shot clock, the Los Angeles Lakers will add the ball out of bounds again. 2-11 left to play. Billy Ray Bates has come back into the ball game, and Norm Nixon has gone out for L.A. Right side is Johnson. Back out to Clay, a uh, correction to Michael Cooper, and Cooper with a three-point goal. So Michael Cooper left wide open outside, ties us up at 79. 
sixth time we have been tied in tonight's ball game. A minute 58 left to go in the third. Johnny Moore trying to get Gervin loose. Drives down the center lane. Here comes Gervin out off the double pick. Cross court to Gene Banks. Banks inside of Bates. He'll put it up in traffic off the glass. Good again. Gene Banks. 28 points for the night. San Antonio leads it 81 79. Excuse me. Magic Johnson against Gervin. Beyond the three point line on the right side. Trying to look inside. Here comes Bates out of high post. Ball knocked away. Picked up by Cooper. Cooper on the left hand wing. Seven on the shot clock. Down inside to Abdul Jabbar. Turns over false. Jumper from 14 will be no good. Rebound Mitchell. Mitchell out on the run for San Antonio. He's got Johnny Moore behind him. Drops it off to him wisely. Behind the back pass goes back to Mitchell. Mitchell off the baseline. Turn around 14. Good. Now behind the back pass from Moore to Mitchell. And Mitchell scores to make it 83 79. Mitchell almost single handedly with that break. Outside, the Los Angeles Lakers work with exactly one minute to go in the period. We're in period number three. Down inside, goes to Abdul Jabbar. Powers up on false. The shot's no good. Rebound comes off to Banks. Banks back the other way for San Antonio. Flips it on the left side of Gervin. He'll double pump inside of Pulse. No good. Here comes Landsberger with the rebound. He shovels ahead to Abdul Jabbar. Jabbar will come down for an easy slam dunk of the basketball. Abdul Jabbar just hanging back. Nobody held back with him. Here's Moore. Long down court pass. Comes down to Banks, and Banks lays it in. 30 points by Gene Banks as the Spurs caught the Lakers looking. 85-81. 26 seconds to go in the third. San Antonio up by four. Magic Johnson has the ball. Pulse and Jabbar pushing and shoving for position down low. Right side Cooper inside of Jabbar trying to get inside. A little jump hook is good. Jabbar will get his 12th point of the period. Ten seconds left to play. In the third, 85-83. Six seconds. Johnny Moore crosses the timeline. Up underneath goes intended for Moore. Cooper steals. Cross court goes to Mitchell. Mitchell can't get the shot up as he made the steal. And that's going to end the period with the Spurs still in the lead, however. 85-83. To 83, and the largest crowd of the year is on their feet. So that's three at the arena. San Antonio 85, the Los Angeles Lakers 83. Back with more in a moment. The Lakers trailing the San Antonio Spurs by two points at 85-83 are led by Abdul Jabbar with 30 points. Nixon has 14. Rambus and Magic Johnson both have 10. For well, the San Antonio Spurs, Gene Banks has matched those of Abdul Jabbar with 30. Mitchell has 15. Gilmore 12. George Gervin has but six points in this ball game, but the Spurs have the lead going to the third, fourth quarter. Outside with the ball, Pulse gets it back cross court to Moore to Banks in the high post. Inside to Edgar Jones. Jones will turn his jump shot on the glass. Good. Edgar Jones with a post up move on Landsberger, and it's 87 83. Spurs by four. This is the fourth quarter. Spurs won the protested game by three. 117 114. Down inside, it's Dwight Jones pushing inside on Billy Pulse. Dwight Jones gets his second personal foul. The ball goes back to the Spurs, and they'll work the ball ahead with a four point lead. Have not seen the number on the crowd tonight, but it is a dandy. Johnny Moore on the right side. Looks down inside looking to Gervin. Gets it to him on the baseline. Goes down low to Billy Pulse. Pulse inside of Dwight Jones. No shot. Back out to Gervin. 
Durbin dribble drives, gets it back out to Banks. Banks in the high post, jumpers on its way. Good. Gene Banks has matched his career high with 32 points. And it's 89-83, San Antonio by six. Magic Johnson with the ball, straight away on Gervin. Looking for a pick by Landsberger. Takes him all the way to the baseline. Johnson can't do much with it. Back outside with 10 on the shot clock to Cooper. Down inside to Magic. Magic against Gervin. Try to back him down inside. Gets a double team. Cross court to Billy Ray Bates. Three on the shot clock. Jump shot is short. Rebound Landsberger and Gervin. Both batted out of bounds. Goes to the Lakers. Good call. 10 minutes, 49 seconds to play in the game tonight. 89-83. Regulation game with the Lakers and the Spurs battling. The Spurs have already won the season series for the third straight year. Three games to one, pending the outcome of tonight's contest. Inbound Cooper gets it into Billy Ray Bates as Nixon checks back into the lineup and Johnson goes out for a rest. Here's Dwight Jones trying to back in on Billy Fultz. A whistle. Illegal defense now warned on San Antonio and that's a technical foul. So the Spurs will get the first technical of the night on his own. Again, Gene Banks with 33 points you have there. It'd have to be an even number because he's 6 out of 6 at the line, I believe. So he has 32 points on the night. It's 89-83. Next shot is up. No good by Nixon. So Nixon on a technical foul shot will miss. And with 10.43 left to play, the Lakers do have the ball out of bounds on the side, and they'll inbound it here with a new 24. Norm Nixon at long range. Out at the top of the key, picked up by Johnny Moore. Bounce pass. Baseline left to Cooper. Jump shot from 18, no good. Edgar Jones inside of Landsberger for the bound. Out to Johnny Moore. Moore running into the forecourt. Drives all the way to the baseline. Dwight Jones checks off on him. Up underneath goes to Edgar Jones. He'll try to save the ball back. Edgar Jones comes off the baseline to get it. The 21 jump was up and good, but he was out of bounds when he got the return pass. Edgar Jones threw the ball behind his back trying to save it. Back to Johnny Moore. Moore had to bat it right back to Edgar. Edgar came from out of bounds to get the ball jumping from out of bounds to get it and then jumped it in but it doesn't count 89 83 Spurs by six Cooper at the high post guarded by Gene Banks on the right side of Billy Ray Bates Bates down the center lane ball is stripped clean it's up for grabs Banks gets another try at it Landsberger with the rebound loose ball foul Landsberger pushed for the rebound and that's three San Antonio wanting that basketball back Gene Banks will inbound the ball on the side with 10 3 to play 89 83 San Antonio by six we're at the arena tonight where a jam-packed crowd is filed in tonight to watch the doubleheader. Left side of the ball, Johnny Moore. Down low to Banks. Here's the turnaround jumper. It's up, and it's around. And good! 34 for Gene Banks, a new career high. And it's 91-83. And the San Antonio Spurs now have the lead by eight with 9.45 left to play. And the Lakers call a timeout. Gene Banks with a new career high of 34 points sends this crowd into the delirium. And a timeout call on the floor by the Los Angeles Lakers. We'll be back with more of our simulcast as again the Spurs have the lead over the Lakers on the score of 91-83. This is fourth quarter back right after we pause for this message. I got the first part of that. Uh, the rest of it was covered. I'm sorry, but I, I see it here. Yeah. We'd like to remind you that we've got college baseball coming up once again as the Crosstown Rivals Trinity and St. Mary's will square off at B.J. Keith Field. That'll be coming up on Tuesday, April the 19th, starting at 7 p.m., and it'll be right here on the Sports Channel. That's Trinity versus St. Mary's Baseball on the Sports Channel. We've got some final scores. Chicago has defeated Cleveland tonight with a score of 107-98. to We'll pass on more in a moment. 
as the Los Angeles Lakers bring the basketball ahead. On the right side of the ball, it is Cooper. Back out to Nixon. Nixon, dribble driving on the right side. Down inside, trying to get it to Dwight Jones. He's guarded by Billy Fultz. Drives around him. Opposite side, layup good. Nice play by Dwight Jones. Jones with his sixth point of the ball game. The San Antonio Spurs once again on a career high so far by Gene Banks with 34 points. Lead this ball game by six. Outside Johnny Moore. Right side of Gervin. Gervin inside of Billy Fultz. Fultz on to White Jones. He fakes him once. Goes up. Eight footer. No good. Tip up by Banks. Goes after it again. No good. Billy Fultz off for the rebound. Out to Johnny Moore. Good wise play by Billy Fultz. Johnny Moore guarded by Nixon on the outside. Nixon will get a block. Nixon will draw his third personal foul as he and Johnny Moore buffet for position. There's no love loss between those two players. I guarantee you. And you know if they get into the playoffs that will be a bloodletting between the two as they just glare at each other. Banks looking for the inbound, still looking. Finally comes over the top to Johnny Moore on the outside. Eight minutes, 57 seconds to play. In the fourth quarter, a new 24 as Gervin drives around Dwight Jones, drives for layup, good. Gervin with only eight points tonight, but San Antonio leads by eight, 93-85. Norm Nixon has to double deal the ball. If it was tipped by Landsberger, it's all right. It was not, and it's a travel call on Norm Nixon. Nixon throwing the ball to Landsberger. If Landsberger had touched it, Nixon would have been able to go and get it, but Landsberger did not touch it, says the referee. And when he went over to get it, it's traveling. And now San Antonio gets another turnover here on the Lakers. The Lakers unofficially have 13 turnovers, while San Antonio, according to my figures, has a total of 15. Now the ball will be coming in bounds as the San Antonio Spurs lead it 93-85. 8.42 left to play. Abdul-Jabbar was at the scorer's table well in enough time to get a sub into the floor. Now, Magic Johnson and Abdul-Jabbar will not be allowed to get in the game. As Daryl Garrison said, no, I had already inbounded the, uh, head of the ball to Banks. And the Spurs bring it ahead. They lead by eight, 93-85. Down in the center lane, George Gervin, finger roll inside, ice. We'll go to double figures. San Antonio up by 10 again at 95-85. 8.27 left to play. Outside of the ball, it is Norm Nixon. Nixon at the high post. Trying to dribble around the screen by the White Jones. Will drive all the way up underneath the basket. Tries to get it into traffic. The ball is up for grabs. Still up for grabs. Picked up by Norm Nixon. Cross foot foot right more. Moore back the other way for San Antonio. He stops behind the back pass. Goes to Banks. Banks driving layup. It'll be no good. Tip up by Edgar Jones. No good. Tip up by Jones. No good. Banks will follow it up. It'll go and good. Banks with 36 points tonight. His career high makes it 97 85. Spurs by 12. Back the other way, the Lakers. Under eight minutes to play. Up underneath Lansberger. Lansberger inside. Nice left-handed hook. No good. Tipped out of there. Comes away to the white Jones. Jones will try to put it up. He and Fultz collide, and a foul is called on Fultz. The white Jones will go to the line to shoot a foul shot as Fultz picks up the personal foul. Lansberger with a pretty nice left-handed hook there. Ball was knocked away. The white Jones came up with it. And when he did, Billy Fultz came up with the white Jones. And at the line, Jones will shoot a pair here. Edgar Jones, Billy Paltz, Johnny Moore, George Gervin, Gene Banks on the line. As they try to hold off the Lakers with 7.46 to play. This is Dwight Jones shooting a foul shot. Has two coming here. First one's up. No good. Spurs up by 12. 97. 95. Gene Banks, by the way, at last count is 15 out of 17 shooting tonight. He has 36 points to lead the Spurs. Here's the next shot by Jones. This one will quiet in the crowd for a moment as it goes. At 11 points, Spurs lead. Spurs, by the way, about rebound of the Lakers. Six to nothing in this period. 97-86, San Antonio by 11. Billy Pulse flips it down inside of George Gervin against Cooper. He takes him to the baseline. Fall away 14 footer. Dirt. Now Gervin has started to heat up. 99-86. Spurs by 13, matching their biggest lead of the ball game. Inside, Edgar Jones, along with Dwight Jones, will fight. And Edgar draws a personal foul, appeals to Joey Crawford, but gets a cold shoulder. 7.21 left to play in the fourth and final quarter. This is playoff intensity, my friend. Jones, left-hand side, goes to Norm Nixon, picked up by Moore. Moore gets a screen by Dwight Jones, flips it back on a give-and-go. He'll put it up and good. Nice give and go as they'll rub it out. And now the White Jones is called for a push off as they'll rub it out. And Jones gets his third personal foul. Norm Nixon on a nice give and go. The White Jones on the inside just pushing off on Billy Paul. Gets the offensive foul. Rub it out on his first. Still lead by 13. 
Seven minutes left to play here in the ballgame. Edgar Jones, long range, cross court, goes to Gervin. Gervin dribbles behind a false screen, 20-footer, good! Billy Fultz, who George Gervin says sets the greatest screens in the NBA, set a bone pressure there, and Gervin drilled it. And listen to the crowd as the Lakers take another timeout. They're on their feet at the arena. A sellout crowd of 15,782. The Spurs 101, the Lakers 86. The San Antonio Spurs have scored a total of only 12 points off the errors made by the Lakers. Lakers have capitalized for only 15 points off of the Spurs errors. So that has not been with this ball game. It's been won or lost tonight with the Spurs in the lead. Up by 15 points, 101 to 86. San Antonio with a sellout crowd of 15,782. Just checking with Bob Howe and our chief statistician. We did not have a sellout all last year, and this is the first one of this year. So the San Antonio Spurs, before a sellout crowd, have done a number on the Lakers. By the way, we have some other scores I just want to pass on. I've been so involved in this one, I've had a chance to look around the league. Cooper at the high post, guarded by Gene Banks. Left side of Norm Nixon. These Lakers are dangerous. They can come back in a hurry. Norm Nixon is one that can trigger them, and he does with a jumper outside. 16 points by Norm Nixon. 101-88. San Antonio's lead at 13. Six and a half minutes left to play from the arena tonight. Could the Spurs be going for a double dip against the Lakers? Top of the post. It goes from Banks. Inside Edgar Jones. Shoved behind by Magic Johnson. Johnson saved the basket. Almost sent Edgar Jones out in the upper bank. And Jones goes to the line for a couple of foul shots. 6.22 left to play in this ball game. Boy, James Jones looked like a wild helicopter on that play after being shoved from behind. Has but two points and has a couple of foul shots here. Averages nine a game and six rebounds for the Spurs. The man out of Nevada, Reno. First foul shot will be no good. San Antonio. 101-88. Close out the regular home season Friday night against Utah. Close out the regular season for good on Saturday night at Dallas. I understand a great crowd on hand at Dallas when we're there on Saturday. Next shot by Jones goes down and hops out. Here come the Lakers. They're down by only 13. They can cut into it in a hurry. Nixon down low. Abdul-Jabbar against Billy Paltz. Paltz with that big body on him. Abdul-Jabbar with the sky hook. Right side, it's good. And here come the Lakers. 32 points now by Abdul-Jabbar. 101 to 90. San Antonio's lead is at 11. The momentum the Spurs had built up was staved off with that timeout. And now an offensive foul is calling Johnny Moore as he drives around Norm Nixon. And Nixon, after the offensive foul is called, gets the ball back in the forecourt in a hurry. 5,000 Johnny Moore. Johnson inside of the White Jones. And now the Spurs probably will have to use a timeout. And they do wisely as the Lakers with a slam dunk by the White Jones on a good feed inside by Nixon. And the San Antonio Spurs lead that was at 15 is suddenly down to 9. 101-92. Timeout on the floor. Back with more from the arena in a moment.
That one should have been easy. The San Antonio starters and the Los Angeles starters have carried the blunt of the load tonight with only 18 points coming off of both benches. The Lakers and the Spurs off the bench, but most of the scoring damage tonight for the Spurs has been done by Gene Banks, the second-year pro out of Duke, has scored a total of 36 points on this ballgame tonight, and that is a new career high. 32 by Abdul-Jabbar as Gilmore is back in the game, and the two Giants will battle it as Dunleavy replaces Moore, who has five fouls. Gervin at the top of the key, guarded by Cooper. Inside goes to Gilmore. Abdul-Jabbar going over the top of his back to knock it away to Johnson. Ahead to Cooper. Cooper driving in. He should have been called for a travel, but was not a whistle and a personal foul. They'll score the basket on Cooper. Personal foul they call on Dunleavy. That's his fourth personal foul. And Cooper will go to the line, try to complete a three-point play. Cooper, when he caught the ball, driving in to Dunleavy, drew the foul, and now he goes to the line, trying to complete the three-pointer. This would draw the Lakers ever so closely back again. It's on its way and good. They're within six. 101 to 95. Since the timeout, called by the Lakers when they were down by 15, the Spurs have not scratched. Into the full court, Dunleavy. Holds up the basketball, guarded outside by Norm Nixon. Gets it away to Gilmore. Down low on Jabbar. Back out to Dunleavy. Fakes a three. Back in it goes to Gilmore again. He throws the hook. Blocked away by Jabbar. Jabbar out to Norm Nixon. Cross court. Goes to Cooper. Cooper driving all the way. It's up and good. And the Lakers are within three. The San Antonio Spurs have just fallen absolutely apart. And the Lakers have come roaring back within four points. 101-97. Dunleavy into the full court. Picked up by Norm Nixon. The Gervin on the right side. Flips it off inside of Gilmore. Out of a double team, back to Dunleavy. Baseline left to Mitchell. Mitchell back out to Dunleavy. Swings it right side to Gervin. Gervin driving, stopping, jumping, 21-footer, no good. Mitchell with an offensive bound. He'll be fouled by Magic Johnson. And Johnson knew it. As Mitchell turned, Johnson was just standing there with hands held high. Mitchell turned right into him, and Johnson went right over his arms. Edgar Jones checks out, and Gene Banks will be coming back in. Los Angeles. Has scored nine unanswered points on the Spurs. Here's Gervin down the center lane. His jumper is up, no good. Rebound comes off to Dwight Jones. Jones in the backcourt, ahead of Norm Nixon. The Spurs trying to get back to Magic Johnson on the right side. Looking for Jabbar, inside on Gilmore. He tries to feed it back to Magic. Gets knocked down out of bounds, belongs to L.A. Four minutes and 30 seconds left to play. The Lakers have the ball on the end line. 14 on the shot clock as Cooper will trigger. Into the corner to Magic Johnson. Over the top underneath to Abdul-Jabbar. Jabbar trying to back in on Gilmore. Throws the sky hook. It'll be short this time. Rebound Banks. Banks has been all over this floor tonight. Into the full court. Banks cautiously dribbling the ball. Cross court to Dunleavy. Dunleavy in the baseline to Mitchell. Back inside and for Gilmore. Stolen by Johnson. He feeds it ahead to Clay Cooper to Norm Nixon. Nixon has it knocked away. Stolen by Mitchell. Mitchell with a steal to Dunleavy. Dunleavy spinning away from Magic Johnson. He drops it off to Mitchell. Mitchell driving layup to Banks. Puts it in. Oh, my. What a play. 397. San Antonio getting a whale of a basket on some nifty passing by Mitchell. Dunleavy and Banks with 38 points finishes it off. A six point Spurs lead. Too much time to go with 349 left. Outside of the ball is the cry for defense cuts. Inside Abdul Jabbar. Sky hook is up. Italy bouncing around. It's good. Abdul Jabbar with 34 points. 99 for the Lakers. They're down by four. 3.35 left to play. Kurt Rambis will check in for the Lakers on the next dead ball. Outside Dunleavy. In along the lane, he gets it to Gilmore. Gilmore right back out to Dunleavy. Three-point goals on its way. No good. Tip up by Mitchell. No good. Rebound. Banks, it's good! Banks with 40 points in the game, and it's 105 to 99. 3.18 left to play. Banks is going to be absolutely exhausted after this game. San Antonio. 105 to 99. A six-point lead again as Magic Johnson brings it up. Guarded by Gervin outside. Boy, the intensity on the face of all of these combatants is just absolutely stern. Here's Jabbar going up against Gilmore. He'll roll for the hook. It'll be no good, and Gilmore gets a foul. Five called on Gilmore, and Abdul Jabbar will go to the line for his seventh and eighth foul shot. Boy, this is strength against strength. As that time, Jabbar just leaning in. Gilmore trying to hold his ground. 
Gilmour now talking to Joey Crawford in the center lane. Reluctantly takes his spot along the side of the lane as Jabbar will shoot two. 105 to 99. By the way, the Gilmores officially christened their home here in San Antonio on Monday night. What a beautiful, beautiful home they have here in the city. First foul shot, no good by Kareem. That's his first miss after six in a row. Pat Riley looking on after his ball club escaped a one-point victory last night at Houston. As Jabbar's next foul shot, no good, and Gilmore rebounds it away. Dunleavy into the forecourt. All the way up to the forecourt, right side to Mitchell. Jump shot, 18, no good. Rebound knocked down by Banks. He goes back after it. Banks flips it to Gervin at the foul line. His jumper's on its way. It's good. Ten points in the period by Gervin. 107 to 99. The Spurs with an eight-point lead. Two and a half left to play. The insides of Stan Olbeck are churning at the moment. He knows the Lakers can light up the scoreboard quickly here as Nixon tries. No good. Knocked out of there by Rambis. Right to Nixon. Into Jabbar. Turn around jumper. No. Rebound comes off to Gervin, but a whistle and a push-off foul. Personal foul on Mitchell is his third, and Jabbar again will go to the foul line where he'll shoot two foul shots. Nixon's jumper that time came off the side of the iron. Bounced high in the air. Rambis willing up over the back of Gilmore to knock it away in the first place. Nixon got it inside, and Jabbar was finally pushed by Mitchell. An eight-point lead by San Antonio. 2.24 left to play. Jabbar's foul shot quietens the crowd. Five points in the period. 35 tonight by the big fellow from UCLA. But he has been overshadowed by the second-year pro from Duke, Gene Banks. Next shot by Jabbar. He made them both. Jabbar puts it home. 107-101. San Antonio's lead at six. 2.21 left to play. Crossing the timeline with the basketball. It is Dunleavy. Dunleavy over the top underneath the tenner for Gilmore. Stolen away by Johnson. Johnson feeds to Norm Nixon. Nixon into the full court for the Lakers. Right side to Cooper. Cooper drives on the baseline. Dishes it off to Abdul Jabbar. Knocked down. Stolen by Dunleavy. Dunleavy back the other way for San Antonio. Two minutes left to play. Dunleavy with a six-point lead. Holds the ball. At long range on Nixon. Inside to Gilmore. Gilmore turns around the double team. Puts it up in traffic. His shot is good. Gilmore with a double team basket inside. 109 to 101. The Spurs up by eight. Outside Norm Nixon. At the top of the key, looking to Cooper. Goes to Rambis. Rambis inside to Abdul Jabbar. Rolls for the sky hook. It's good. 37. Make that 38 points, excuse me, by Abdul Jabbar. 109, 103. A minute 36 left to play in this one tonight. The Spurs trying to wind that scoreboard clock down for a double dip against the Lakers. Left side, Gervin. Cross court to Banks. Inside to Gilmore. Gilmore gets a double team from Magic along with Abdul Jabbar. Here comes Banks across the lane. He throws it in. 42 by Banks. 111 to 103. Banks is unstoppable tonight. Up underneath a wide open basket by Cooper. And a great feed by Magic, 111 to 105. 113 left to play in tonight's contest. San Antonio with a six-point lead, trying to use all that clock they can. Into the full court comes Dunleavy. Dunleavy picked up by Nixon to Mitchell. Mitchell through the center lane around Rambis. His turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Abdul Jabbar. Ahead to Johnson. Johnson across the timeline. 55 seconds to play. Through the center lane, off to Cooper. Top of the key to Norm Nixon. Jumper from 20, good. Nixon will score. San Antonio's going to call a timeout with the Lakers within four. 51 seconds left to play in tonight's contest as the San Antonio Spurs again building up to an eight-point lead at one point. And now have it down to only four. With 51 seconds left to play in the ball game. The San Antonio Spurs up by the four-point lead. Again, they led by as many as 15 in this contest. The Lakers' only lead was by one point. And I believe that came back in the uh, third quarter when they finally came back to uh, take a lead by one point uh, to 79 to 78, I believe. That was the only lead they would enjoy in the entire ball game. And the San Antonio Spurs have relentlessly just staved off the attack by the Los Angeles Lakers and are now within 51 seconds of holding off the Lakers for their 51st victory of the year. But the Lakers, again, a proud basketball club, the defending world champions, playing without James Worthy, Jamal Wilkes, and Bob McAdoo tonight. This is not the same Laker club, obviously. But it is a club that possesses a great deal of talent, and the Spurs so far have held their own. Well, we have some other scores coming in. Let me give them to you in a hurry here. Seattle, 29. Phoenix, 27. That's after one. At the end of one period, Denver, 31. Houston, 30. At the end of three, New Jersey is tied with New York at 78-78. At the end of three, Kansas City at home against Atlanta. Leads Atlanta, 89-88.
Dallas is on top of Utah after three, 81-75. The finals tonight, Washington 95, Philadelphia 76, Indiana over Milwaukee, oh my, 113-90. Chicago defeated Cleveland 107-98, and Detroit has stopped Boston 113-101. to A sellout crowd here at the arena tonight, watching on as the San Antonio Spurs have a four-point lead in this ballgame tonight. Gene Banks, with his 42 points tonight, is 18 out of 21 field goals, has 11 rebounds, and has made four assists. What a game by Gene Banks. The San Antonio Spurs in their 10th year, and a lot here at courtside, so they have not seen a more complete game by any player than what Gene Banks has played here tonight. All right, in the backcourt, Johnny Moore, one-on-one -on, -one on Norm Nixon, steps across the timeline with 40 seconds left to play. The Spurs' lead is at four. Johnny Moore against Nixon. Johnny Moore makes his move. Here's Jabbar jumping out behind his screen. Inside, they've got Gilmore against Nixon. It's Banks. Turn around, jumper at the foul line. Good! Oh, my! Banks at the foul line will score to make it 113-107. Into the full court, Johnson. Out to Norm Nixon at the high post. He drives to the center lane, stops, jumps, shoots, he'll score. Nixon stops the clock with 18 seconds left to play. The Spurs lead by four, 113-109. In the backcourt, Johnny Moore trying to run away from a foul. 12 seconds left to play. Johnny Moore tries to drive through a double team, gets away from it, into the forecourt. The Spurs have a wide-open player. Johnson will deck Johnny Moore as the Spurs had Gervin and Mitchell waiting under the basket. Moore got up on an impossible double team in the backcourt. And now Johnny Moore will go to the line and shoot unless Darryl Garrison has called a 10-second violation. Personal foul is called on Magic Johnson. Johnson will draw his third personal foul, and with seven seconds left to play, the San Antonio Spurs, with a 113-109 score, up by four, will have Johnny Moore at the foul line to shoot a couple of foul shots. Johnny Moore got out of an impossible double team from Norm Nixon and Abdul-Jabbar across the way. When he reached midcourt, Magic Johnson fouled him. The Lakers contended that he didn't make it in the 10 seconds allotted. Here's the next shot. It's going to be up by Moore. It's no good. The Spurs again lead by only four. The Los Angeles Lakers have already used their 20. They have but one timeout left. Johnny Moore's foul shot is good. So Moore will make the second one. The Lakers will use their final timeout. And we'll hold on right here. San Antonio 114. The Los Angeles Lakers 109. We only have seven seconds left to play. I wonder if the Lakers have any of those miracle six-point plays in their bag. That's what they've got to have to win. Five to get it into overtime here. As the Spurs won the protested game, 117-114. Johnny Moore, after a missing of the rim call on Norm Nixon, was called on the Lakers. It came back the other way. Johnny Moore was fouled, hit the foul shot, and it made it 117-114. San Antonio won the protested game that was only three seconds long. Now here in the regulation. The Spurs have led at every juncture of the game, 33-26 after one, 60-54 at the half, 85-83 after three, led by as many as 15 points, and lead by five points with only seven seconds left to go in tonight's game. The first sellout in the last two years with 15,782 fans looking on here tonight have seen Artis Gilmore, Gene Banks, Johnny Moore, Mike Mitchell, and all of the rest, George Gervin certainly has been well called on here in this fourth quarter to get his 16th point. But it has been the man of the moment, Gene Banks, setting a new career high with 44 points tonight against the Los Angeles Lakers. Off the bench, the Spurs have used Fultz, Smith, Dunleavy, and Edgar Jones to help them in this victory here tonight. And with a 114-109 score, the Lakers will have the ball. They've got their three-point shooting team in there. Norm Nixon. Magic Johnson, Billy Ray Bates, and Michael Cooper. Rambis is the fifth player for Los Angeles. San Antonio comes back out with Gilmore, Mitchell, Gervin, Moore, and Banks. The Spurs are off until Friday night when they host Utah. Then close out the regular campaign at Dallas against the Mavericks. San Antonio already 50 and 29 after winning the protested game. The Lakers 57 and 22. And now Daryl Garrison has spotted something on the sideline and goes down to talk to Pat Riley. There may be some discretion on the scoreboard clock. They put one second back on the clock. So it's at eight seconds rather than seven where it was stopped a moment ago. All right, the Lakers with eight seconds to try to get five points to tie, six to win. 
Magic Johnson looking for the inbound. San Antonio jockeying full position. Joey Crawford hands it to Johnson. Outside of Cooper, three-point goes on its way. It's short. Rebound up underneath the Norm Nixon. Five seconds. Nixon turns. Puts it up. No good. Gilmore knocks it away. Two seconds. One second. That's it. The ball game is over. The Spurs have defeated the Los Angeles Lakers 114 to 109. And the Spurs go 51 and 29, while the Lakers are 57 and 23. And the Spurs do a double dip on the Lakers at the arena. And the Spurs hands high in the air over the foul line, celebrating tonight's victory, 114 to 109. Gene Banks, undoubtedly the star of the game, will join us a little later. The Spurs win it by five. We'll be back with a quick wrap-up after this timeout. Yes!